Well, the Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD program is a classified project that aims to develop a new family of systems for air dominance. In recent months, details about the program have been revealed, suggesting that it may mark a significant shift in the way the United States approaches air dominance. According to John Turpak, the editorial director of Air Force magazine, funding for the NGAD program has increased over time, and rumors about the program suggest that it is progressing well and may result in a new type of aircraft that resembles a bomber more than a traditional fighter. While a stated aim of NGAD program is to replace the F-22 fighter jet, the aircraft that came out of the NGAD program may or may not look like a traditional fighter. The Air Force is developing technologies involved in NGAD to provide air dominance. Part of the program's goal is to determine how to achieve that end. Independent of traditional US military approaches to air dominance, NGAD could take the form of a single aircraft and some complementary systems, manned and manned, optionally manned, cyber, electronic forms that would not resemble the traditional fighter. The NGAD program may result in developing a larger aircraft, such as the B-21, that may not have the maneuverability of a traditional fighter jet. However, this larger aircraft could potentially be equipped with a directed energy weapon and multiple engines, which would provide it with the power and range to dominate a large amount of airspace. It is important to note that the NGAD program does not necessarily need to focus on creating aircraft that engage in traditional dogfighting maneuvers or have all of their sensors and weapons on a single aircraft. Instead, the program could potentially explore alternative approaches to achieving air dominance. Former Air Force Acquisition Executive Will Roper has commented on the NGAD program and its potential to revolutionize air combat. However, due to the classified nature of the program, much of the information available to the public is based on rumors and speculation. Despite this, the NGAD program is generating significant interest and excitement within the military and aviation community, and it will be interesting to see how it develops in the coming years. Recently, a series of pictures released by Lockheed Martin has caused a stir within the military and aviation community. The images depict the company's LMXT tanker, which is a locally adapted version of the Airbus A330 MRTT, refueling a jet. The jet is shown as a tailless flying wing with a sharp nose and diamond-shaped engine nozzles, leading many to speculate that it could be a rendering of a sixth-generation fighter jet. The pictures were released during a media briefing about the LMXT on October 25, 2022. But the rendering of the jet was not included on the company's website. Regardless of the true purpose of the pictures, they have certainly generated a lot of discussion and speculation about the future of military aviation and the potential capabilities of a sixth-generation fighter jet. Basically, the NGAD aircraft from Lockheed Martin is a concept for cutting-edge, highly advanced manned aircraft. One of the most notable features of the NGAD is its unique wing design, which is shaped like a diamond and has straight leading and trailing edges. This wing is closely blended with the elongated fuselage, creating a sleek and aerodynamic appearance. The fuselage itself is particularly noteworthy as it features a single prominent chine line and tapers sharply towards the nose. This tapered design helps to reduce drag and increase the overall efficiency of the aircraft. It's also worth noting that the NGAD does not have traditional tail surfaces. This tailless design is a common feature in NGAD concepts, providing many benefits. For one, it allows for very low observability, making the aircraft difficult to detect and track by enemy forces. It also provides a considerable amount of internal volume that can be used for fuel, weapons, and sensors. This internal volume is essential, as it allows the NGAD to carry a large payload while maintaining a high degree of efficiency. Well, another exciting feature of the NGAD is its propulsion system. The aircraft has twin engines that are buried in the fuselage and exhaust over the upper surfaces of the airframe through two dimensional diamond shaped nozzles. These nozzles are particularly visible in a rear aspect view of the aircraft and give the NGAD a distinctive appearance. In addition to the engines, there also appears to be two fairly shallow bulges on either side of the center section of the fuselage. These bulges are not specifically mentioned in the description of the NGAD, but it is possible that they may be related to the propulsion system in some way. One final aspect of the NGAD that is worth noting is its coating. The aircraft may be depicted as wearing a shiny or semi-reflective coating, which could be in line with similar experimental coatings seen on other military aircraft such as the F-22, F-35, and F-117. These coatings 
are designed to help reduce the aircraft's visibility to enemy forces and are an important part of its overall stealth capabilities. The NGAD program represents a significant opportunity for the defense industry, and the innovative procurement process being used by the Air Force could result in the development and production of a wide range of advanced fighters that are capable of meeting the changing needs of the military for many years to come. The procurement process for the NGAD aircraft is being handled differently than previous major military contracts, such as the Joint Strike Fighter program that was won by Lockheed Martin. Instead of awarding a single contract for the design, production and sustainment of the NGAD to one company, the US Air Force has decided to split the NGAD procurement into three separate contracts, one for design, one for production, and one for sustainment. This allows a wider range of companies, including smaller firms that may specialize in one particular aspect of aircraft development, to compete for a piece of the NGAD program. This procurement process could potentially lead to a more diverse range of companies being involved in the NGAD program, and could also encourage innovation and competition within the defense industry. It is possible that a winning NGAD design could come from a relatively unknown company and then be produced by a more established firm like Lockheed Martin with sustainment being managed by yet another party. This approach to procurement allows for a variety of firms to have a chance to contribute to the NGAD program. It could result in a continuous stream of advanced fighters being developed and produced for the Air Force for many years. This new procurement process for the NGAD also has the potential to drive down costs, as companies will have to compete not only to design the best aircraft, but also to produce and maintain it most efficiently and cost-effectively. This will definitely lead to a more competitive pricing and better value for taxpayers. In addition, the modular nature of the NGAD program allows for the incorporation of new technology and systems over time, ensuring that the aircraft remains at the forefront of military aviation. Furthermore, by adopting a more frequent fighter development schedule, the military can stay ahead of emerging air defense threats and field advanced fighters that are better equipped to meet challenges. While initial procurement costs may be higher in the short term, this approach can ultimately save money by taking a modular approach to hardware and software architecture, rather than completely redesign and rebuild every system with each new fighter development program, those not being updated or replaced can be easily transferred to the next aircraft. This can significantly reduce the time and cost of research and development for each new fighter. In addition, the modular approach allows for more flexibility and adaptability within the military's aviation capabilities. As new technology becomes available, or as threats evolve, individual systems can be updated or replaced without having to start from scratch on an entirely new aircraft. Overall, the NGAD is a highly advanced and sophisticated aircraft that represents the future of air dominance. Its unique wing design, tailless fuselage, and advanced propulsion system make it a formidable aircraft that is well suited for a variety of mission profiles, whether for air-to-air -air combat, air-to-ground strikes, or intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. The NGAD is sure to be a valuable asset for any military force.